Hi, my name is Simon Kemper. I'm from the uh, German Endeavor company, which uh, develops the um, Endeavor Evo, which is the world's first multi-touch keyboard with um, keys that can read your finger positions. Which means we basically think that the um, keyboard layout, the Klaviation module, is perfect. There's nothing wrong with it, but we added a third layer of input. So you can now move your fingers across uh, the uh, keys and change the sound of a note, individual and independent from other notes. input to a key and next to pitch and velocity there is now the uh, finger position on your finger and so with moving your fingers on the key you can uh, add some sounds and uh, that's also the uh, reason for having keys that are a little bit longer and wider this is because we think it's more of a touch keyboard than a normal keyboard with a touch function you can make smooth transitions and so on you need a little space to move your fingers on and that's the reason why the keys are a little bit longer and the black keys are a little bit wider and that's because of the uh, special system we use. It's a capacitive touch and it needs um, a small space or at least a, limit, a minimum space to get this thing working. And uh, basically the Evo is just a controller. So this means um, what it does is it reads your fingers, your uh, keystrokes and your finger movements and it sends out the data which can be used then by sound modules, MIDI modules or whatever. So you can also um, add external MIDI. There's a software which is called CARM, which is kind of a bridge between the Evo and all the other software things and hardware things. So you can uh, easily add hardware MIDI devices and go on to uh, MIDI devices. And if they understand polyphonic aftertouch, you can easily use um, the uh, key surface and the key movement for controlling polyphonic aftertouch since. Currently we started developing our own software things which are especially designed for the Evo and take the uh, best things out of the touch interface and uh, combine it in a single interface. There's uh, presets which define some sounds, which is the basic sound that you can modify. So we just started uh, developing of, uh, development of our new unit which will be uh, using a standard keyboard, standard keyboard size, then, which will also uh, give you the um, abilities to move your fingers on the keys uh, but it's a, a very a more affordable version and it's um, using a plastic housing instead of anodized aluminum but everything that can be done with the current EVO series can also be done with the new more affordable version and uh, development will be finished by the end of, at the end of uh, 2012 and that it's ready and we will sell it worldwide. Some technical details um, the um, sensors are read 500 times a second, so uh, there's a lot of data being produced. Um, the resolution is up to 8 bits and the uh, velocity is read uh, or described in 16 bits. So um, we have a very, very high resolution, very, very more than MIDI. And to get the data as fast as we can out of this device, we're using an Ethernet protocol, which uh, makes it possible to send out high-risk data at a high speed without any latency. So if you uh, press a key, latency is about one to two milliseconds, so very, very fast, and faster, more faster than uh, any other, uh, a lot faster than any other keyboards on the market. And uh, but this does not mean that you have to apply IP addresses or so on. What you can do is you just have to directly connect it and uh, there's a framework running on the system and on the software. If you start your Evo at the software, it automatically looks after the Evo. If it finds one, it automatically configures it. For more information, just go to check out our website. It's uh, www.endeavor.de. So it's a German uh, ending domain. And um, there you will find all the other information, like more technical details and uh, specifications, videos. We're also currently into making videos with more musicians so that you can see what the Evo can do for you and uh, what this uh, means to you. And um, there's also software and synthesizers available and yeah, all the news, what we are just currently doing and what we will do in the next month and years and so on. So be sure to check out the websites.